today I'm taking a virtual road trip around the whole USA and coloring and painting a state each time and learning about it. To make it interesting, I'm gonna pick a state blindfolded with this sun cone. First, I'm gonna spin around three times, then pick a state. Hopefully I'm in the right direction. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. here. All right, guys, let's see what state I pick. Whoa, I picked Wyoming. Okay, guys, now I got the Wyoming state. Now let's paint and color it. First, I think I should put the name Wyoming on it. W-Y-O-M-I-N-G. Next, the capital of Wyoming is Cheyenne. Okay, I'm gonna draw a star right here. C-H-E-Y-E-N-N-E. -E -E. All right, there it is, Cheyenne. Wyoming State Animal is a bison. I'm gonna draw a bison. Okay, I'll do it like, maybe the head and the body separate like this, and the head goes here, and the happy face with the body, and some legs. Okay, and then the tail. Now I'm gonna color it in with brown. Now I'm gonna name it Bison. B-I-S-O-N. Wyoming is famous for their Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone Park is the first national park in the U.S. And it's located right here on the top left. Okay, now I'm gonna make the Yellowstone National State Park. First I'm gonna draw a lake like that. Before I finish the geyser, I'm gonna draw some mountains around Wyoming. Okay, like some mountains, like that. Lots of mountains over here. Okay, now for the geyser. Okay, so the geyser shoots out hot water and steam. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some mountains on top. And then, let's put some light for the snow. Well, the park has lots of trees, so let's draw that. Okay, maybe we can put like a tree here, a tree here, and a tree there. Okay, getting some green. Now we have trees. Yellowstone, Y-E-L-L-O-W-S-T-O-N-E, -L -L -E. park. P-A-R-K. Wyoming's national bird is called the Western Meadowlark. Okay, so we can do it like this, and then maybe some little dots of black on it. And then the body is yellow, with the small black part of like this on it. Okay, now I'm gonna do like the back of it. So I'm gonna do some dots of black and then gray. So part of the head is like still like this. And then like black, the eye, and then the beak. Okay, now let's write it out. Western W E S. T E R N Meadowlark. M E A D O W L A R K. Okay, guys, I'm done with my Wyoming picture. But, guys, heck, has some amazing facts about Wyoming. Nice painting, Ryan. Now, it's time to learn about Wyoming. Did you know that Wyoming was nicknamed the Equality State? It's called the Equality State because it was the first state to grant women the right to vote. Wyoming is famous for the Old Faithful Geyser, which shoots hot water and steam from the ground on a regular schedule. 
since it was found in 1870, it is erupted at the same times every day. Just look at that. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's lots of animals living in Wyoming, like grizzly bears. Whoa, watch out, big guy. Bison. Ah, whoa. Mountain lions. How cool. Whoa, easy there, nice lion. Moose. Wow, look at those antlers. And more. Did you know that there are more animals than people in Wyoming? Wyoming has the lowest population among all the states. Talk about a lot of animals. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope you learned a lot about Wyoming. Back to you, Ryan. Look, I cut it out. And now it goes right there. Hi guys, welcome to Ryan's virtual road trip. Let's see where we're going today with this sun cone. Okay guys, so last time I went to Wyoming, and now let's see where we're gonna go. Blindfolded. I gotta spin three times. This one. Oh, looks like we're gonna be taking a trip to Michigan. Okay, this is my map of Michigan. But did you know that Michigan is divided into two parts? The Upper Peninsula and the Lower Peninsula. And look, the Lower Peninsula looks like a mitten, see? Okay, I'm gonna spell out Michigan. M-I-C-H-I-G-A-N. And the capital of Michigan is Lansing, right here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a star for the capital, like that. Let's say you live in the Upper Peninsula, but you wanna visit the Lower Peninsula. How do you get there? Fly airplane or there's a bridge. The bridge is right here, and it's called the Mackinac Bridge. Okay, so Michigan's state bird is a robin. Okay, maybe I'll draw the robin like this. This is its belly. Okay, let's put the back part all the way here. And then now the head part and the beak. Okay, so Michigan's state flower is an apple blossom. I'm drawing the apple blossom. Like this. Okay, and put pink right here. Boom. Okay, guys, next we're gonna go visit Detroit. It's called the car capital of the world. <laughs> okay, and Detroit is right here. Okay, now let's spell out Detroit. D E T R O I Okay, now I'm gonna draw a car next to Detroit. Now I'm gonna draw my wheels. Guys, the Upper Peninsula has a lot of wildlife, and their state animal is a white-tailed deer. Here's my white-tailed deer. Okay, now I need the eyes. His antler is going out of the state. Okay, I'm gonna put some trees. Okay, I wanna draw some lakes. Besides the white-tailed deer, the Upper Peninsula has a lot of more animals, like a wolf, black bear, coyote, chipmunk, squirrel, and lots more. Okay guys, I think I'm done drawing Michigan, but Peck has some more fun facts about Michigan. Great job, Ryan. Are you ready to learn about Michigan? I have some fun facts about the state. Did you know that Michigan touches four of the five Great Lakes? Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Superior, and Lake Michigan. Let's take a dip. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cold. Michigan was nicknamed the Wolverine State. No, not that Wolverine. The animal Wolverine. I hope you learned a lot about Michigan. See you in the next day. Back to you, Ryan.
Thanks, Peck, for all those fun Michigan facts. Now let's put it on the map. Whoa, Peck was right. Michigan touches four of the five Great Lakes. Hi, guys, and welcome to another virtual road trip with Ryan. So far, we have done Wyoming and Michigan. Let's see what we're gonna do next with the sun cone. Okay, so I'm blindfolded. So this way. Oh, maybe I should put it here? Ooh, I got Arizona, let's go! Okay guys, so now we've actually found a blank map, so this time we can actually draw on it. Arizona. Oh no, I spelled it wrong. I think I can still fix it, guys. Z, O, N, A. Arizona. Arizona has a lot of desert, so I'm gonna put some cactus. Okay. Maybe I'll make a cactus like this. And then maybe it can go like that. Then I color it in. So it dots like this. Did you know that Arizona is famous for the Grand Canyon? It's a valley that has lots of red rocks. And it's located right here. I'm gonna draw some red rocks. And bigger red rocks. Okay, so next I'm gonna draw the lake. It should be like this. Okay, now I'm gonna put this part, the brown right here. Okay, I'm filling in the rest of the mountain, like this. The capital of Arizona is Phoenix, and it's located right here. Now I'm gonna spell Phoenix. P A H. O E N I X. Since Arizona has a lot of deserts, and deserts have rattlesnakes. Ah, so I'm gonna draw a rattlesnake. Maybe the tail goes here, and it can go up here, and then the face. Okay. I'm gonna put the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> okay, and it has little fangs and then lots of dots. Boom, boom, boom. Did you also know that Arizona mines a lot of copper? Okay, I'm gonna draw some copper and more copper because they mine a lot of copper. C O P. P-E-R. Okay, now Arizona is complete. So now let's go to Peck for some fun facts. Wow, well this is such a fun trip, Ryan. Let's learn more facts about Arizona. Did you know that Arizona's Sonoran Desert is the only place on Earth where the saguaro cactus grows? It's the largest cactus in the United States. Whoa! It grows in areas that don't get much rain, and it can take a saguaro cactus up to 100 years to grow a single arm. Arizona is the only place in the United States where you can be in four states at once. This is at the intersection of Arizona, Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico. It might not be called the Sunshine State, but Arizona cities, Phoenix, and Tucson get sunshine for 85% of the year. In Yuma, Arizona, the sun shines 90% of the time. All these cities in Arizona receive more sunlight than even Hawaii or Florida. It's so hot. Way too hot for a penguin just to be walking around here. A little help, please. Ah, thank you. Much better. It was fun learning about Arizona. Back to you, Ryan. Thank you, Peck, for those facts of Arizona. I didn't know that. Hi, guys, and welcome to another virtual road trip with Ryan. 
Let's see where we're going today with the sun code. My daddy's gonna spin me today. Did you put the seatbelt on? Uh, okay, good. All right, go! Uh, okay, uh -huh. there's a wall here. Uh -huh. there's a wall. Yeah, there you go. I'll put it maybe here. Oh, I got Florida! First, let's start with the capital of Florida. The name is Tallahassee. Tallahassee is right here, so I'm gonna draw a star. Okay, and it's spelled like this. T A L L A H A S S E and another E. That's how you spell Tallahassee. Florida's nickname is the Sunshine State because it gets a lot of sunshine through the year. Now I'm going to drop the sun right here. My sunshine is smiling. Florida also has a lot of amusement parks like Disney World and Universal. So I'm going to draw a roller coaster ride. Now I'm going to draw my roller coaster. So I'm going to make it go like this. <laughs> This is a car roller coaster. <laughs> Yay! Do you guys like orange juice? Because Florida produces the oranges that makes about more than 90% of America's orange juice. Okay, I'm gonna draw a giant orange right here. Big orange. Boom, orange made. Did you know that Florida is the only place in the world where you can see a crocodile and an alligator live together in the wild? They live together right here in Florida's Everglades National Park. I'm gonna draw the alligator first. Okay, so maybe it's uh, to the mouth. And then maybe I can put this mouth. Are. That's kind of big. <laughs> I'm gonna paint and green now. My somewhat alligator. <laughs> Since I'm running out of space, I'm gonna draw a tiny alligator right here. Boom. And boom, that's the mouth. And then I'll make the big head. Perfect. Now let's go to Peck for some more fun facts about Florida. Thank you, Ryan. Now it's time to head to the Sunshine State, Florida. Did you know that John F. Kennedy Space Center, located in Merritt Island, Florida, is one of 10 NASA field centers? Since 1968, it has been NASA's primary launch center of human space flight. Oh, wait, oh no, wait, no! If you plan to dig for dinosaur bones, you won't find any here in Florida. That's because during the dinosaur age, the Florida Peninsula was completely underwater. It was totally non-existent as a land mass. Now for the fun part. Florida is the theme park capital of the world. Here we go. Whoa! Thank you, Pat, for all of those fun facts. I didn't know that. Okay, bye! Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye!